I'm a landscape photographer at heart, but um, I've also got a bit of a thing about buildings. Um, I like shooting architecture, um, old buildings, new buildings. Um, it's just something about the, the actual construction of buildings, especially old buildings. Uh, so I've come up here today. This is, um, I think it's Holy Trinity Church up above um, Buckfast Lee in South Devon. It's a great, um, well, I don't know if it was bombed or, but it's, it's got no roof on it and it's a great sort of structure. And you can see there behind me. I should do a wider shot in a minute so you can see. But it's, um, it's a great building because it's got uh, some lovely columns and things inside. Um, and my plan is when it gets darker is to, um, is to light the columns up with a torchlight. Um, you can just see in through the doorway there now. I'll have a spin around with the camera in a minute. But um, from memory, I think this place is lit up at night as well. It's got uh, floodlights on the on the base of the church. So once it uh, once the sun drops down and the um, it gets a bit darker, um, it should be um, should be a nice nice shot. So I'm going to get set up in here and I'll have a spin round with the camera so you can see inside. I was wrong about the lights. There are no lights in here, so I'm gonna have to rely on my torchlight. So after this shoot, I'm going to be using my LED lenser torch. Even though the size of it doesn't look much, it's, uh, it's a really powerful beam on this torch. And you've got um, a, a dual beam, so you've got a spotlight and also a, a fanned out light as well. So for this type of thing, you can have a pin light sort of lighting up the arches or you can sort of do it out wide and, and light a bigger area. Um, so very handy. So let's talk technicalities. How how I'm going to shoot this. Um, basically, I wait for the uh, for the ambient light to drop, so we get that nice sort of inky blue sky. Um, then, combined with the with the torchlight, um, it's, it's a nice balance. But you've got to get that balance right. So I normally wait. It's normally about half an hour after after the sun set. Um, when you get that that good mix of lights, you get the the natural light in the sky which obviously at night turns sort of like inky blue and then I've got my torch light which again I'm going to light up these arches so that that mix of light um, one it means you don't need filters shoot it unfiltered um, and it picks up it picks up that torch light and, and the balance of exposure is, is, is correct then um, in terms of apertures probably f16 I would have thought um, that normally gives me enough um, depth of field to, to capture the, uh, the stonework here um, and, and get everything in focus. Pretty, um, pretty easy sort of technique really. I've just got to wait now, wait for it to get dark. Um, my partner's come on me tonight, she's flitting around in behind columns and things trying to make me laugh but um, uh, well, yeah we've just got to wait. Well apparently this place was um, destroyed by fire in an arson attack back in 1992. So it wasn't bombed, like I said earlier. Compositionally, I'm um, sort of wandering around, sort of weighing up what looks best. Um, there's a couple of places that I've I've kind of spotted, so I'll try them out now while it's light. So when it gets darker, it's um, it's easier to sort of find find the best spot. Um, here, you can see I don't know if you can see or not. I've got the the line of arches there in the background, but also in the top, I've got the two. Where are they? 
the two crosses there and up there which will be in the top of the frame um, so obviously all these arches lit up and then I'll sort of put a bit of a spotlight on those crosses as well so that's, um, that's what I'm planning on doing but it's, it's quite tricky to, to figure out what's going to look good once it gets dark but um, hopefully this will work I'm using my um, 17 to 40 for this shoot um, it's, it's quite a wide wide angle of view at the 17mm but I'm not too worried about keeping everything straight vertical and uh, I'm, I'm more kind of going to play around with different angles and sort of quirky quirky shots where it, it emphasises the arches um, so I'll, I'll do mainly sort of wide shots tonight I think that's, that's, the, um, that's the plan um, don't forget to um, subscribe if you hit the, the subscribe button down here and um, if you enjoy my my um, wafflings and um, just subscribe away and click the little bell um, symbol as well for notifications when I do uh, when I post new vlogs shot set up here now um, you can see the arch in the frame here um, now my exposure time is 20 seconds now my lovely assistant is now going to paint the structure with a torchlight and you see uh, during the exposure you move the torchlight around and don't stop because if you stop you get a big flare of light now we go just paint the structure during the exposure and then that should give you your your mix of ambient light and the artificial light. Mm -hmm. 